So I'm going to do a brachial plexus block. Uh, this patient has a C8 radiculopathy, and she did very well with the first injection under fluoroscopy. It was a selective nerve root block using a fluoroscope and an ultrasound to find the nerve. Today I'm going to look to repeat that to some level, but I may actually go to the supraclavicular brachial plexus and, and anesthetize that region. So now I'm going to scan looking for the subclavian artery and the brachial plexus nerves in the supraclavicular fossa. And I'm going to scan backwards. I'll find the interscalene brachial plexus lining up right here. And her radiculopathy is actually lower down at C8. So we're not going to see the C8 nerve as clearly. That's why I'm going to go more distal. Back to the supraclavicular brachial plexus. Tell you when I need to pinch. Tell when you come to this side and spray her. So I'll tell you where to be a second. See the nerves around the subclavian artery. I'm going to give her a little injection over here first. So, Tyrone, if you need a skin though, right there. Okay. A little pinch, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. All right? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, your skin is numb. You hopefully won't feel too much now, okay? Good? Excellent. Needles are right inside. Getting close to the nerves in your hand, you may feel something shoot down the hand. Feel that? Is it going in your arm? Mm -hmm. Is it where your pain is? Um. Yeah, I think so. Okay, just don't move too much. First save, Tyrone. Bottom right corner. Thank you. I'm just going to a different aspect of the nerves. Sorry. Okay? Mm -hmm. Still good? Mm -hmm. Hurts? Okay, so we're just giving a few milliliters of bupivacaine mixed with dexamethasone around the brachial plexus and the supraclavicular fossa. Sorry, where's that? I feel like going down. Is it where your pain is? Um, no, it's going down like the front. Different spot, okay, so move the needle away from that. The first one was the best? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go where we know is good. Side of the plexus. Mm -hmm. 